lovelies welcome back again to my youtube channel it's maria davis here again and i am back with another video yes this is the continuation of my last video if you have not watched that video which is my morning skincare routine go ahead and pause this video off just click the link up there and watch that video first so that you can actually benefit in this nice skincare routine and if you've watched the video you're welcome to the nice skincare routine so guys, I'm going to share you guys my nice skincare routine and how you can actually have your own nice skincare routine and make your skin pop as well, okay? So guys, let's go straight to this video. So first of all, I'm going to actually say the here in this video but because I didn't say that in my last video, I don't have a perfect skin, I don't have a flawless skin. My skin is not 100% flawless. Yes, I know that. So if you look at my face very well, you know that I still have pimples or something. I have, I don't have a flawless skin, but I still go ahead to actually, but I actually still try to make my skin look very good, okay? I know that whatever I do to my skin, I actually see the result, and that's why I'm sharing most of those things to you guys, okay? And we all have skin, different type of skin types, okay? Whatever I'm using, and you might try to use it, it might not work for you, or it might actually damage your skin. It's not my fault. I'm just sharing what actually works for me. And we might also, we, you might be lucky that we are sharing the same skin types, okay? So just feel free to enjoy this video and see how you can actually have your own skincare, nice skincare regimen, or nice skincare routine, and have a good skin, okay? So the number one thing you should know about your morning, or your nice skincare routine is that you're free to use anything, you're free to do anything to your skin at night. So whatever go to go you want to use, whatever cream, scrub, max, whatever, 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 whatever you want to use on your skin, you're free to use it at night. Your night skincare regime can as well be heavy, whatever. It depends on what you're treating, it depends on what you want to achieve, okay? And I'm not yet going to tell you how to achieve Korean skincare routine. No. I'm telling you as a normal skincare routine, a normal person. Because if you want Korean skincare routine, that is like very long and I don't know if you can actually relate to it if I share it for you guys, okay? This is like a normal skincare routine at night, okay? And at night, and another thing you should have at the back of your mind is that at night, your skin on its own actually repairs itself. So whatever you're using on your skin, you want to repair your skin, this is the best time to use that thing on your skin so number one thing you actually need to do in, at night is to double cleanse double cleansing is very very important at night imagine you after going out after using all those morning skincare routine and you came and you went out you coming back or maybe after using that sunscreen in the morning then you use your makeup you rub powder you did something on your face then you coming back at night, then you just go ahead and go to the bedroom, just wash your face with um, soap, then you rub your cream and you sleep. Girl, you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right, okay? But my thing you should know, my one thing you should know is you have to double cleanse. First of all, take off that makeup on your face. Use a good cleanser to take off that makeup on your face. Not makeup, not baby wipe. I'm not talking about baby wipe. I'm talking about a good cleanser to take up that makeup on your face. I'm going to picture, put a picture of a good cleanser I can use to take up your makeup on your face. First of all, before you actually wash your face with a soap, with a face soap, okay? The face soap I use in the morning, that's the same face soap I use at night. And the face soap I use in the morning is this face soap I use. And this is also the face soap I use at night. And I really, really like it because it's very mild. As much as I like putting a lot of things on my face at night i also watch what i put on my face at night because i don't want to ha have reaction i don't want my face to be so red and so white and you know different from the rest of my body so, double cleansing is very very important when you use your skincare regimen at night and double cleansing if you know that whatever face face soap you're using first of all whatever cleansing you need to cleanse your face first because even if you don't even do makeup even if you're telling you think you didn't do makeup you think um you just went out with your flawless face like that what about hair pollution what about dirt what about um dust and everything that actually stays on your skin that you won't even see they're so tiny that you can't even see it 
So what about all those stuffs? Are you going to just leave it alone and not cleanse them on your face first? First, you have to cleanse them on your face. Take them off your face, please, darling. Take them off your face, first of all. So you ha if you have a good scrub, you're using a physical scrub, which is a scrub. You know, there's chemical exfoliants and there's physical exfoliants, okay? So if you're using a face scrub, this is the best time to actually scrub your face. There's nothing to do is use your face soap, then as well, use your face scrub okay it's going to actually take off those dead those dead skin cells off your face and you are going to actually have your face back okay so number one thing don't forget what i said you have to double cleanse and for you to double cleanse you have to use a face cleanser first to cleanse your makeup to cleanse those dead away from your face then you use your face scrub okay then you use your face soap but if you know you don't have two things to use to cleanse your face then if you have a face scrub at night Oh, a mouth face scrub. I'm going to actually put a picture of face scrub I use. I think I've shared that in one of my vlogs before. I don't know if you guys saw it, okay? So I'm going to still put it on the screen so that you guys will actually see the face scrub I use on my face at night. And at night and sometimes during the day. Another thing you should know is that when you scrub your face, you wash off your face with your soap and everything, then come out from the bedroom. The next step you should do is to tone your face just as the first morning skincare routine you have to tone your face and toning your face you need a face toner if you're dealing with spots you're dealing with dark spots you're dealing with pimples acne and all that things on your face i would advise to use a good face toner. i'm going to actually put a face toner i use on my face at night different from what i use in the morning this is what i use at night and it works super well it lightens the face as well aside from me taking out drying out pimples it also lightens my face and i like it a lot so that's what i use during the during at night do you guys understand if you don't understand just put a question down in the comment section i'm going to actually explain to you very well okay so guys this is why i'm actually changing from one location to another i want you guys to actually put it in the comment section tell me the location you like best that you want me to be filming my videos i'm just trying to to check different locations in my room where I can actually make good videos that you guys will actually enjoy, okay? So this is like the third location, I don't know, maybe third or fourth, I don't know. So the next thing you should actually know after using your face toner is you can actually, before your face toner, if you know that it's at night, before you actually use your face toner, before you even come out from the bedroom, you are free to use your face mask. You can use Idea Clay Mask, you can use this clay mask I reviewed not long ago, Golden. I'm going to put the link up there so that you guys can see it. You can also use any face mask of your choice at this point. You are at night and you need to mask your face. Face mask a lot. I love using face masks because I like the way I feel. Especially this Indian clay mask. I like the way it feels when I use it. Yeah, I, I feel like my pores are actually, you know... There's a way it feels on a face that actually gives me life, okay? If you have not used this face mask before, go ahead and try it. You can actually mix it with apple cider vinegar or rose water or milk or whatever. I mix mine with milk, okay? And it's working well for me. I use at least once a week. I'm very clear mask I use every day. Not really every day. It's close to me, so I just apply it on some part of my face and leave it. Is this golden face mask? I also like the face mask a, a lot. It really, really helps me a lot. Okay, so after my so if you're looking for a good toner that is actually going to suit your face, don't worry. I've done a video on that already. Just look for the video. I'm going to put the link on the description box or on um, up here so that you just click the link and go and watch that video. I made selection of good toners that are very good for the skin. Okay, so after toning your face, this is the best time for you to use your serum to use your essence, to use your face oil. Anyways, if you know that you want to have that flawless face, all these steps are very, very important. And if you know you don't have the sensitive skin, you are very, very lucky because, girl, you have, you can use anything on your face and your face is going to pop. But people like me that have sensitive face, I'm always afraid to test things on my face, especially on my face, because I don't want to start using something now, then the next thing I'll start growing pimples all over my face that is why i stay away from all those things from my face okay so guys 
so guys after toning your face after like doing all those things on your face using essence using serum using face oil the best thing is to use on your face is your face cream your treatment cream this is the time for you to treat your skin this is the time for you to treat that stubborn acne this is the time for you to treat that stubborn spot this is the time for you to treat that nonsense on your face this is the time after using all those things this is the time okay and you should know that when you're using all those um serum and everything allow you to actually rest on your face for a while before you put the next cream there's something you should know when you want to choose your face cream especially when you're treating your acne your acne yeah is there this pro there's this um, ingredient called benzoyl peroxide if it's inside your acne treatments just know that when you use this you have to wait for about three hours three hours before you apply another thing on your face okay so but if you know that's why it's always good to check ingredients at the back of products when you buy it especially at the supermarket always check the ingredients always check that ingredient if it suits your skin get it if it doesn't exit it's not compulsory because it wasn't working for your friend doesn't mean it's going to work for you it contains basal peroxide basal peroxide is super good for acne it dries acne in no time but when you're using it you have to let it stay on your face for at least three hours before you apply another thing on your face so let's say you have pimples and acne Oh, you have acne and spots. So after using a cream that contains benzene peroxide, it's not immediately you start using your spots cream. No, you have to wait for three hours before you apply another thing on your face to take care of your spots. Because if you apply another thing on your face after using a benzene peroxide cream that contains a benzene peroxide cream, you are going to deactivate that one. That is why sometimes you think some creams are not working. It's because you are not doing it well. You are not checking the ingredients. You don't know what it contains. So all these things, always check them. Always look. Check it. Is your skin? Is your face? Look at those things. Does with this thing suits me? Check those ingredients, be familiar with them. So when next you want to check another thing and be like, oh, I was using some a cream that contains retinol and it works for me. Let me continue using this cream. Okay? Hope that makes sense. <laughs> when you apply your treatment face cream, now is best time to apply your spots. Also apply your spots cream. Please apply your spots cream only on where you have spots. If you are getting the spots cream from me or from another person, I don't care. Always apply your sports cream on only when you have sports because when you apply your sports cream only only when you have sports, it helps the sports to fade off easily. Imagine you having sports over here, then you're applying your sports, sports cream all over your face. All your face is going to get white. Then this one will not fade off. You never know if it's going or not. But you focusing on this one and leaving this other one out of it, it's actually going to help. So guys, with all that said. All these things I'm still going to list them. I'm going to list them right now on the screen. Look at this step. Take a look at these steps and look at what suits your skin. I've shared the product I use on my face for now. And if I change any of my skincare routine, I'm going to also still share with you guys. What is what I've been using for the past few months now and it's been working for me. I love 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 this product a lot. And I hope if you Try to actually put this inside your skincare routine. I hope it works for you as well. So, guys, I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching the video to this point. And put that in the comment section the best parts you like in this video, what you don't like in this video, what you want you to add, and what you want to just feel free to comment. It's not going to kill you. The only way I'm going to know you enjoy this video is if you put it down in the comment section. So I'm going to end this video right here. I think I'm talking so much. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.